Yurt to me, gang, the Army, the Navy, the Unstoppable. Welcome back to another video with your guy, Gemini by Law. I hope everybody healthy, everybody feeling good, everybody staying dangerous, not letting nobody take advantage of them. Yes, sir, you heard what I said. Jimmy Gang, man. Without further ado, we're going to get right into this next video, man. I know y'all love them reactions. Y'all love when I come with stories like this. So here we go, my boy. Philadelphia woman. Body. At the barber shop by her son's father, he's now wanted for capital M. Okay, man, we're gonna get right into it. That sound wild, boy. She got clapped at the barber shop. Like, was she with her cun? I mean, was she with her son? Cause the baby father came and clapped her while she at the barber shop. So I'm assuming she was at the barber shop with her son that they got together, right? You know what I mean? Make it make sense. Jimmy Gang, let's go, man. I ain't gonna waste too much time, my boys. Oh, she pretty too. No cap, she a pretty woman. Oh, she she was a get money. She was get money junk. You know what I'm saying? Whoever was dealing with her, she was getting money. They was buying bags. You know what I'm saying? You see gold yard right here. Listen, let's go back a little bit. Let's just look at her, her lifestyle, bro. She they not showing this. They want you to see the lifestyle she was living. Icy on the neck a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Icy on the neck. And she pretty. I told you that already. Pretty toes. We not going to cap. She got some pretty toes. A nigga like me, I love pretty toes, bro. Like, if you wanted me to really like you and enjoy you for life, you got to have pretty toes. Go yard. She, see she got the extra, extra sparkle effects trying to show you. She's a diamond queen. I got that dog in me. What's that? So, you're my diamond girl. You're the one I quit the game for. My son Ryan Leslie, right? Remember that? You're my diamond girl. She a diamond girl, bro. See, she got the sparkly glitter filter on everything. She got some yitties on her. She has some yitties on her. Rest in peace to death. She has some yitties on her. I don't need no negativity around me. No cap. I don't. I don't, my boys. Hold on. Let me go grab me a Capri Sun. All right, my boys. Let's see what up with the diamond girl. She was definitely big on social media, as you can see, bro. You'd have thought she was a celebrity. Maybe she was an IG model. She might have been one of them IG models. You know how the IG models always be posting. And she bad enough to be an IG model. Me and my boys in the Discord, my boy Quentin, my bro Dave, we were just in the Discord talking about these IG baddies, though. Sometimes IG baddies, the box don't even be as good as, like, a regular baddie on the street. But she like an IG baddie. Let's go. The game. They know what they want. They sure know what they don't want. They look good. It's scary. If they didn't tell you they were in their 40s, you wouldn't know. I ain't gonna lie. I wouldn't have thought she was in her 40s. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. See, I this is some this right here look good, nigga. Like, let's stop playing. Look at that ass. They were in their 40s. You wouldn't know. Bro, let's keep it a band. She got ass for days. Yitties, cheekage, nigga. You just walking around all double cheeked up. Come on now. Suspect in connection with a deadly shooting inside a North Philly barber shop. There's been some nasty rumors floating around in Philadelphia and surrounding areas. It pertains to a woman losing her life earlier this week inside a barber shop while giving her son a haircut. You know what I'm saying? Within the last 24 hours, even beyond the rumors. Damn, this the this her baby father? This the nigga who clapped her? Like, bro, I ain't gonna lie, he did it. He did it. You can look in that nigga's eyes and tell he did it, bro. I ain't even gonna lie to you, bro. Yo, bro, we smoking a blunt on this one, too. Y'all know I don't even smoke blunts, bro. I'm a joint nigga, but I ran out of a uh, grabber, so we had to go big blunt on him today. Blunt has been wanted in connection to her demise. It seems it's allegedly her youngest child, baby father. There's a lot of things that's floating on the internet. I'm here to put a cease to that and present what's public. Imagine losing somebody you love, man, and the world coming up with their own theories online. So before we break this one down, I want you guys to remember, I don't give you no anger. I should give you the story. Hey, man, y'all know I give you the angle, the story, my opinion, what I think, what I would have did. Well, 
If I was a baby father, I would have never did this. I can tell you that. But we're going to get to that story. Let's go. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe like my boy about to tell you. With that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Yes, Jump. all three, gang. I need you to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're already part of the Jimmy gang because you already subscribed, nigga, you're my guy, you yeah? Oh, my girl. Because I got some females rocking with me, too, now. I appreciate that. It's all. Today, we're going to talk about a woman who was independent, who was self-motivated, who turned her dreams to reality. A mother of two. She was a Muslim woman. She was a registered nurse. Nah, nigga say she was a Muslim woman. Show her the fit in her Muslim attire. Look, you see her in her Muslim attire? Like, but bro, you you a Muslim one day out of the week or what? Like, you know what? Matter of fact, let me stop. Because some Muslims, like, they'll wear they hijab and all of that, all of the cover up, everything on one day of the week. And then the rest of the week, they just... I don't know. Who tell me? What do you call that in the in the comments? Like, is that a Muslim or is that like a part time Muslim or what? It was a Muslim woman. She was a registered nurse. She looked good. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Even in the even in her hijab with her head covered up, she looked good. In this right here, she looked good. She looked good, nigga. She even owned her own home care service called Kisses Care. That's what's up. Always running it. Nah, you gotta give her credit for that, bro. I appreciate a woman that's doing her thing, independent, making moves, bro. She a business owner, fine as hell, got some religious values to her, bro. You gotta respect that. I like her so far. She was a cook and had her own catering service. Dope. She even had her own season company called Season. Bro, she multi-talented, bro. I ain't gonna lie. The dude that took her life, bro, I bet you that nigga don't got no talents. That nigga probably a rapper. A rapper with like a thousand views on one song. Like, nigga, like, bro, he just took this creative woman with all these talents, two kids and all that out this world. And I bet you he not doing nothing productive. Nigga, not a productive member of society. Watch. Kisses. She had her own LLC for extensions called Kisses and Mudge. Bro, she got multi-businesses, bro. You got to respect this, bro. This is the type of queen I would have wanted in my life, nigga. She got multiple businesses, mad stuff going on, bro. Come on, man. She not just out here popping pussy. No. She getting to the bag, nigga. Just her own legal hemp and CBD brand called Hempy Kiss. She even... Bro. And she down with the trees. That's my type of bear. <laughs> my type of bear. Yes. And rented out houses and property in the Philadelphia area. This is her showcase of one of her properties. What we always talk about, bro. Trying to gain you some assets... Make you some real money in this world, bro. Have you some property you could pass down to her kids. Shorty did that. Shorty over here ran out properties and all that, bro. I respect her, bro. I'm mad. I'm mad at this video already. I'm mad she had to lose her life, gang. As you can see, she was a definition of a hustler. You see, this is the difference between blunts and rolls, bro. The blunts burn mad rough, bro. Like, a blunt on burn you. Like, bro, you be burning the pores. Like, your throat be burning from the blunt. Like, the weed good cool is hitting me. I like it. I enjoy it. But that, it's that other. That's why, I, see, bro, it's because I ain't. I don't burn blunts like that. That's why it's affecting me. No cap. Well, she was a mother. But on October 7th, 2023, she would take her last breath. Fine ass. Gun down. Inside a local barber shop. In the presence of her son, sending love and blessings his way. What I told you, bro. What I said from the jump when I heard she passed away at a barber shop. I said, so what? She was taking her son for a cut? She was taking her son for a cut at the barber shop? And the baby father pulled up and let her, and let off? Like, what happened? And, I, and I'm right. She got popped in front of her son, bro. Why? Because she was taking him to the barber shop. Good mother, bro. Good mother lost her life. Sad about this. Officers arrived at the 2500 block of West Lee Avenue for a radio call for a person with a gun on October 7th, as we mentioned. A little after, at 1.45 p.m., police said they found a 40-year-old woman unresponsive with a gunshot wound to the head and torso. The woman was later identified as Natifia Wade. Bro, this is sad, bro. You know why? I, I know I'm stopping the video a lot, my fault, gang. But you know why this is so sad, bro? Because, again, I'm coming back to the fact that this beautiful woman... Had mad stuff going on for her, bro. She had mad talent. She was driven. She was not about to die a broke woman. She was not about to die a broke person. I don't know where she came from, what type of background she come from, but I'm assuming because they in Philly, she come from poverty. She was able to build herself up, bro. 
Not only look beautiful and amazing, but have several business brands, several streams of income, and some random nigga come take your life, bro. Not random because he your baby father, but he random in the sense that he don't got half the stuff going on that you got going on. Pronounced the seats on the scene a little after 2 p.m. Get hacked in Philly. There wasn't even no news reporter there. Almost a week later, her baby father was wanted in connection to her demise. He was considered armed and dangerous. To this day, he haven't been caught. The motive is still unclear. But as of now, he got a 20. The son is still on a run. As we speak and make this video currently, Shorty is in a box in the ground. And her, her, her the person who took her life is still on the run. Philly got to do better, my nigga. I ain't going to lie. Philly got to do better. Reward for his whereabouts. He was identified as 44-year-old Omar Hilton. Identified a suspect in connection with a deadly shooting inside a North Philly barber shop. 44-year-old Armin Hilton is wanted for murder, robbery, and related charges. Police say he shot and killed Natifa Wade inside a barber shop. Looking at him, I don't want to assume, but I'm going to tell you this is what I know about a lot of Philly women. Because I told you I lived out in PA for a little while. So I know how Philly women give it up. I dealt with enough Philly women in my day to know. Like, bro, you'll meet a chick from Philly, she'll be hood, ratchet, not religious at all. She get with a nigga like this, like, yeah, he's probably Muslim. This nigga on your screen, you see the beard? The Muslim niggas be having that big beard, you know what I'm saying? She'll get with a nigga like this, bro, two months later because she with the nigga and he Muslim, even though he don't follow none of the Muslim rules, he eat pork, he do all this, he do that, he having sex, he do all that, shooting niggas in the street, but... Now she turn around and she Muslim. Now for the next two months while she with the nigga, you see her in the Muslim, her job, her garb, and all that. They ain't even married. Nigga ain't even married, shorty. She thinks she Muslim now. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not, I'm not saying that that's this, but that's what this situation seemed like. Shorty was not Muslim, but she became Muslim for her baby dad type. Shit. That's what it seemed like. Lehigh Avenue on Saturday afternoon. Investigators say Hilton opened fire inside the barber shop, hitting Wade in her torso and head. She died at the scene. Hilton is considered armed and dangerous. Damn, bro. He popped her in the head and her stomach. Stomach in the head, bro. Your baby moms, bro. Like, what did she do? What did she do? We want to get to this, bro. I know she... I, I, I'm not going to blame her. I'm not, Regardless, it was wrong. She shouldn't have died that way, bro. But she did something, bro. I ain't going to lie. It had to be a motive to this, and we're going to get to that right now. Let's go. Now this come a day after allegations have been surfacing because of a man was found hanging from a bridge in Philly that was him, but it wasn't. I'm not going to call that platform out, but they got to tighten up. And I will hope y'all rectify that mistake. Now, as I look up the history of Amar, it seemed he was arrested in 2003 and was front page news in his hometown. Police say Hilton was the mastermind behind three men who was arrested in 2003 who was attempting to pick up a ransom. Two men were sucked after a 17-year-old boy had escaped. He was kidnapped outside a store at Olney and held overnight for ransom. He escaped. What? The nigga is a kidnap artist? He done kidnapped the nigga, held him overnight for ransom? Nah, this nigga into some other shit. With his abductors that following morning, which was hours after their accomplices failed to extort the k from the young man's father. Police said they arrested three men who attempted to retrieve the ransom Thursday night and were looking for two men who held the boy overnight in West Philadelphia Row House. A detective at the time said the ordeal didn't end until about 4.50 a.m. when the boy was reunited with his parents. Quote, they could have took his life. They said the kidnappers followed the teenager at about 6 p.m. In detail, they say it was a Thursday. From his home to the store in the 4900 block of Marvine Street. And waiting for him to come out, the team was kidnapped. Amon Hilton, shortly after, exited in the store by three men who jumped out of a car, held the firearm to his head, and forced him to confirm his identity. When they were convinced they had the right person, the victim's family had recently received $100,000 in a legal settlement. They forced him into the car. At about 6.45 p.m., the kidnappers called the boy's father and threatened to take the life of his son if he didn't turn over 50000 in cash. The father was instructed to put the money in a plastic bag. And bro, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know nothing about this type of stuff, bro. Kidnapping and all that bro i be telling y'all what i know i know what i've been a part of i've been a part of the things that i did in the street i always come on here if i can give y'all any insight to it i tell y'all but this i ain't never kidnapped nobody bro that's not some that ain't nothing that i want to do bro like that ain't nothing i've been into like me and none of my homies we ain't never been into that bro i don't know about that bro i can't i guess mode money is the motivation like they they kidnapped some for ransom like me and mine ain't never thought about doing that bro i guess we ain't never know nobody who you should hold for ransom, but yeah, I ain't never been through that, bro. I really can't speak to this. This is a different type of crime, bro. 
put inside a garbage can at the 15th and Winlock Street in Nicetown section of the city. The kidnappers told the father they would release his son after they retrieved the money. Man, the father immediately called the police. Detectives stalked out the intersection, gave the father a decoy bag filled with police forms and watches he made the drop. Undercover detectives say they watched as three men in a car circled the area for a half an hour before retrieving the bag. They also say three were arrested after a short foot chase. Two of the men were armed. The mall hills. <laughs> you think you're going to come pick up this bag? <coughs> you really thought you was going to come pick up this package, right? This bag with all this money in it because you just held nigga for ransom. And you think you're about to get your money. And you think you could just pick up the bag and the police ain't watching you, nigga? Are you dumb? Like, do you not watch movies, nigga? I ain't never did this before. But I watch enough movies to know, nigga. Nigga, why you that money, nigga, or something, bro? I don't know. How are we going to get this money? See, I, I wouldn't know how to retrieve the money. That's why I ain't never... See, I, 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 I ain't never been a part of nothing like this. I couldn't tell you. I wouldn't know how to go about getting my money. How am I going to get my money? More than likely, the police know about what's going on. The family probably called the police. It's not a good scheme, bro. I'm Curtis McKnight, 20, and Edward Gordon, 34 years old, man. All from Northwest Philadelphia, and all had lengthy criminal histories. Were charged with kidnapping, robbery, conspiracy, and aggravated assault. And here's the thing. Gordon, the oldest dude, had been on the city fugitive list with the rap sheet dating back to 1988, according to authorities. Damn. Three suspects, however. How old is the nigga? His rap sheet go back to 1988. Nigga, how old is something? Like, damn. Not cooperate with police, and police did not know what the victims had been taken. Meanwhile, the two kidnappers holding the team began to panic, but their accomplice did not return. Nevertheless, Laws didn't know what to do. They continued to hold the team captive tied to his chair with his mouth taped shut and his hands tied. Shortly before 5 a.m., the teenager managed to free his hands and escape. <coughs> police say he escaped. The <coughs> Dumbass niggas had one job, bro. <coughs> <coughs> Dumbass niggas had one job. They couldn't tie a good Navy knot. Niggas couldn't tie a good Boy Scout knot. Son got let loose out of the knot and escaped and got up out of there. Y'all niggas failed. Good thing for the kid, though. Good thing for son that got away. But y'all niggas failed. Window from the West Philadelphia Row House in the 5200 block of Larchwood Street, where he flagged down a patrol officer after realizing the team had gotten away. Officers said two men fled. Police said they were they were hoping Amar and the three other men would cooperate and identify the accomplice, but they didn't. No one was ultimately hurt, and the main thing was the kid returned back home. Now, based on that news report alone, so he didn't get ratted on though. Nobody told on him. They got caught up for the situation, and they never told no information. But somehow the police still know that. Well, that was that, though. That was that situation with the whole kidnapping. His homies never snitched on him in that case. But the police know somehow that he is for sure the person in question about the murder of his baby moms. Let's see how. We know a mob don't got no morals, no principles when it comes to making his money. So it's not surprising that he allegedly responsible for taking the life of his independent baby mother. We don't know the true motive as of yet. All in all... I'm guessing, was this on camera? Like, is that how they know he was the person that did it? It must have been on camera, because the way they like, yeah, he's the person that did it, it had to be on film. Or a witness must have told, like, something, because how do you know that for sure? Unfortunately, a young man lost his mother and ultimately lost his father. <laughs> Two kids gotta be... Right, right, that's a fact, bro. A young boy now, his mom's is dead, and his pops is on the run. So now he just either in the system, hopefully it's some family that could take him in, but, you know what I'm saying, you know you're still a secondary child now, like, you're not... You know what I'm saying? Hopefully the family treat him good. Whatever family member take him in if they could. I'd rather that than him go to a foster care system though. Because everybody know foster care, foster homes don't do nothing but prepare you for jail, nigga, juvenile. You know that. This is nasty though. Without their mother, a provider, a protector, a person who provided jobs, opportunity. It's more developed. I keep you guys updated. But that was the story of a Philly woman who lost her life in front of her son at a barber shop, allegedly by the hands of her child father. Rest in peace to her once again. Love and condolences to the family. Y'all let me... Bro, rest in peace to the family. Love and condolences to the family, man. This is a sad one. Shout out to the family, bro. This was a banger right here. This is a good one. I ain't gonna lie. Like, shorty is beautiful, bro. Shorty is beautiful. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Looking at her, you like, damn. Like, she really had a lot going on, bro. Bright future. You know she was gonna do right by her kids. I'm pretty sure she was a great mother. She was in the, sun, in the barbershop with her son getting him a haircut, bro. Like... Bro, she just seemed like such a positive woman, bro. I hate that this happened to her, man. Jimmy Gang, I'm off this nasty, bro. Protect yourself, nigga. Keep one in the head. Y'all know what I always tell y'all, my boys. Stay dangerous out here, man. Protect your loved ones. This is somebody's sister.
somebody daughter, somebody, you know what I mean? Everything, bro. Somebody mother, as you can see. Take care of yours, bro. Jimmy Gang, I'm going. I'll see y'all in the next one, man. Make sure you subscribe to the channel before you leave here. I need that. I'm growing my numbers. We on the road to 3K. I'm trying to get my numbers back up. I was going for a week. I don't know why my numbers dropped while I was going for a week. But do me a favor. Share this video if you could. Share it around. You know what I'm saying? Help it get out there so these numbers can get back up and we can stay back on the mission. My boys, I'm gone. I'll see y'all on live tonight or the next video if you missed the live. I'm gone, though.